Happening now for the first time in nearly 80 years, you can buy liquor in Washington grocery stores. But the price might get you, give you a sticker shock. Coin Local 6 reporter Brent Weisberg shows you where your money's going. Here in Oregon, you can only buy beer at grocery stores like this Safeway, but just across the river over in Vancouver and throughout the rest of Washington, you can now buy hard alcohol. And it turns out that the first sale of hard alcohol was in Vancouver at 6.04 this morning. After nearly 80 years of not being able to buy liquor in Washington State, all that came to an end this morning at 6 o'clock. Now, big box retailers like Safeway, Costco, and Fred Meyer can sell liquor. It comes after voters approved a measure that will allow privatization of liquor sales. It's convenient. I don't really look at the price that much, to tell you the truth. But for those of you who are concerned, you need to know this. The price you see here isn't what you'll pay at the register. To make up for a potential loss of millions of dollars in revenue, the state is adding taxes to Washington liquor sales. That means for your bottle of $15 vodka, expect to pay 20.5% in sales tax, then tack on $3.70 per liter. And on top of those two numbers, you're also paying the regular state sales tax leaving your final cost at nearly more than $21. I'm not concerned about the price. I know that uh, it's going to be a little higher for a while. Jim McCauley says he's not worried about paying a little extra for the convenience of one-stop shopping. I, I don't see where it's a problem. I think that uh, the state will end up figuring out another way to get revenue. Uh, California did. Washington state officials tell us last year in 2011 they made over $400 million from revenue coming from alcohol sales. It's not clear yet how this new measure is going to affect those sales. Reporting for you, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin Local 6.